that has to be just about the shortest death in the history of the show. Mind you, I was involved in something that was even quicker. Albert Square's shortest ever wedding. What are you doing? Where is it? Where, where's what? A letter from the hospital. What letter? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Natalie said she was here yesterday and she saw a letter. Well, she's wrong. I told you, it never came. But there's no point looking in there. I mean, she made a mistake. You sure about that? Yeah. Then what's this? Looks like an envelope. From the hospital. Dated the 29th, two days ago. Ian, where's the letter? I got rid of it. You got rid of it? I had to. It was... Seeing the bad news in black and white, I... I didn't want it to upset you. Natalie said it gave Lucy the all clear, that she's all right. She's wrong. No, I wouldn't lie to you about something like that. Don't do this, Ian. I can phone the hospital. I can get confirmation. Go ahead. He won't give it to you. Wrong. I'm now officially Mrs. Bill. I can find out anything I like. Now tell me, Ian. I'm sorry. I'm scared. I, I love you so much, and I was afraid you were going to leave me. You were going to call the whole thing off. You, you let me think that she had cancer. I know. I'm stupid. I've really messed up. You lied to me, to Kathy, all that stuff about getting a second opinion. What were you going to just slime your way out of it? What else could I do? Tell the truth. How could I? I couldn't risk it. You can't cheat something to loving you, Ian. Don't you know that? Look, you slept with Steve. You lied. I forgave you. Yeah, and now I know why. Mel, Mel. Look, now it's out in the open. We can do something about it. We can work things out. Work what out? Look, Mel, please. Look, I'm not going to lose you now. We can sort things out. You please, Mel. You already have. Mel, Ian, please get don't your leave. hands off me. Mel, Mel. 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 Please, I need you, Mel. Thank you. Well, guess what, Ian? I don't love you. And I never have done.